Right, hello there, this is uh, S. Scott from uh, Retro Gamer Forum. I'm doing his uh, first video in nine months. Uh, this is uh, 1st of January 2012, so uh, Happy New Year to everyone, or whoever decides to tune in. Um, instead of going straight to my games room uh, today, what I've decided was just have a look at one of my Christmas presents, which wasn't Dreamcast games or any of the things I've collected, uh, is uh, I'm actually looking at a uh, something called an arcade. Um, which a few of the forum members know about and probably some others less so. I think it's sold reasonably well over the Christmas period and well, not many people can seem to get a hold of it anyway. So um, this is it. Uh, this is my iPad. Uh, so iCAD iPad and you can see there and just as a sense of scale just move over that's my actual arcade cab machine to the left. So essentially it's like those little custom made uh, cabs that you can order usually three four hundred quid with a um, TFT screen and a little main thing built in. Um, and we're not really going to look at main today, even though it may exist, uh, well, briefly existed uh, on the app menu. You can get main, but I'll, I'll just show you a couple of the uh, all of the legit apps that are uh, that are on uh, the system. So uh, first thing I'm going to do, so chopping hands, just uh, uh, set it up. So this came in a flat pack format. There's only only came out. No, ten screws, not six pieces. So, uh, sort of an IKEA style um, setup. Uh, it's got the instructions underneath here. Just to explain how to hook it up to Bluetooth, which I've already done. And uh, you can see the button here. You got your main. I say six buttons. There's actually eight buttons there. You can see setup and uh, a relatively sturdy uh, joystick. So it's hardly technology here, I'm just going to take the iPad and it just goes in the bracket here I'm sure it's going to be covered in dust and then just as you would with your iPad swipe to unlock head back on, that was obviously very complicated wasn't it so uh, this should already, you see in the top corner just about maybe see there's a Bluetooth symbol there maybe um, and while I'm here then I'll just go through sort of uh, just how many hundreds of pounds are wasted on apps uh, so every page just about is full of apps you can get a lot of, uh, of nearly all and within them there are various folders so what I want to go into is one of my iCAD compatible folders which is there just sort of hold that steady for a minute and these are some of the games that uh, support the arcade. Um, one of them um, is uh, well, there are many. The one that came with the system is the Atari one, which is the greatest hits. And then there's other all official purchases, such as the Elite uh, Collection one. There, you um, there's one Spectaculator and Jeff Minter uh, supports uh, the arcade as well. There's some of his games on there as well. So just. I think the most visually sort of straight away way of showing the system is probably just to go <coughs> to uh, the Namco uh, app, which is just Pac-Man. Plus, I can use one hand. Uh, let's play it. So we can see there. Just check I've got the volume on on the side. I'll do. And uh, you see there, you can actually put coins in using I think it's like red button or something like that. Um, oh, there we go. So, on this app, um, this is one that's been done uh, officially released by Namco. Um, and there are various different models for this. This is just a standalone app which takes up the full screen. You can see here, just about. And it's pretty responsive onto the screen, uh, it should be. It's got a Bluetooth technology, but it seems to work fine. Sort of get the scale, if only you can see from that angle. It, it does look like a little mini arcade setup from this. And the one or two people who've seen it, sort of, uh, even the ones who aren't into games, have thought, yeah, that's not bad. So, got a place to stop, is any. So, at this point, then you just use it as your standard um, iPad, uh, iPad and player, so you can still use it uh, fine. So, if I go to um, Let's have a look at the HD collection. Leaves me any Commodore 64 stuff. 
And so this is yet again uh, an example how if you make things something cheap and uh, <coughs> relatively that you can uh, you know you can sell stuff that other people would say well you can get online for free and you can. Um, so what does this offer as opposed to um, um, just you know taking ROMs or whatever? Well, I suppose the the front interface is is half decent. I don't think the um, it's the easiest to use on this one, but. Uh, what you can have here, this is their sort of business model. I've got the existing um, collection of games at the top, and then I can purchase more down. Most of the packs are about 69p or something like that. So, if you just have a look at um, what I've purchased, so collection, so I could go straight, for example, to uh, Iridian or well, Buggy Boy, it's easy enough to play. So, this is one of the packs, I think this is 69p. Now, because this is not designed to the arcade but does actually include um, uh, controls it, 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 it's only set up really for a half screen so I don't need to let the cat in after this so so we can see there um, I believe this this app was uh, this app is the HD version there are other apps out there including the uh, uh, Commodore 64 one which I also have which is uh, scaled up which many of the iPod uh, apps are where they're scaled up to meet the iPad's bigger screen so you can see there they're the controls that uh, are available on touch screen and uh, I couldn't stand those so but I can use um, the iKit so as I say, it's a pretty decent emulation. Looks like the Commodore 64 version, anyway. And smash buttons long enough, I'm sure. Yeah, it does work. Might be a little harder to demo, but I'll try. Using one hand here is probably not the best idea. One of the better conversions, coming off 64 buggy bar, and see so that's pretty much it. So, same as anything uh, else on the system, uh, you, you go back into touch screen. You can just have a look through diff different apps, and as you read them, there are many, many others that I have there. So, just click back down. You have um, what else do we have? So, see, these are some of the apps that are very specific to it. Um, uh, I would recommend them for anyone that's interested in Warblade, HD is pretty good. Any of the Minter stuff, Gold Up and Minor Rescue and things like that. Um, anything else I'd recommend there? Uh, Silverfish, pretty good. Pretty good game as well, so I'd recommend that. Um, another app uh, here, couldn't fit it in the iCAD one, I can see there. Any of your um, uh, original Spectrum apps work perfectly well, such as you can play Manic Miner straight away on it. See that? Okay, okay so, so here's just uh, another app. This is the Commodore 64 one. This is a uh, um, really a um, iPod app uh, that's been scaled up. You can see maybe just in the corner. It's, there, it's scaled up in size. Not sure how good the camera is, but hopefully you can see most of it. Um, and this has uh, yet again another business model where you can scroll down. And uh, these are all the different games I've got on the system. Uh, about 8 came with the app, which was 2.99. Sound like I'm out of it for uh, iTunes tonight. And uh, these are some of the ones I've downloaded, such as Nebulous. Just move over, just play. So this should work straight away. We had just using one hand here. You can see the emula emulation is pretty much spot on. Including my gameplay, not so spotter. But as you can see, particularly with the release, it only, it only takes up half the screen, which some people might find a little annoying. And, uh, but what I would say is, you know, this is your chance to use the Apple for, um, uh, you know, things that not that it wasn't designed for, but you know, Apple's a very closed system, and it's nice that you can, if you want to, you know, to, to sort of. 
you know use use it as an emulator and uh, you want to be you know use everything legit you can do um, you, not everything is out there of course but uh, if you want it um, I'm sure you can find it but as I say these are these are emulators that uh, you can get through the iTunes store if you want and uh, and I think they work really well I thought the controls might not work so well um, but they have uh, as far as I can see they, some of the buttons are particularly the middle ones are a little bully but uh, uh, I think it, overall it's a very good system so that's the arcade I think I banged on a bit so I'll chop this up in editing but just wanted anyone that was interested in uh, owning one of these machines I think they're down to 40, 50 quid now, so uh, uh, if you've got an iPad and you, you want to use it or you get frustrated by the controls of some of the games like I do, then this is one of the solutions. Anyway, uh, that's it from me. Um, my next video will be from the uh, games room, hopefully posted up in the next few hours. Okay.